Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Brown here again, and um, yeah, today we're going <laughs> over a breakdown for Tengen, because I realized last time when Tengen came out and I played a bunch with him, I forgot to make, like, a guide or talk about his combos or anything. I just actually enjoyed playing with him because he was such a ridiculous, stupid-ass character. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so today's about Tengen. He's a ridiculous, stupid-ass character. Um, <clears throat> his combos are ridiculous, his particle effects are ridiculous, his pressure is ridiculous. He's just, like, a really strange character. It seems like someone designed this character in, like, two seconds and was like, oh, wait, I want this... I want him to have a, a DP that puts the opponent in the air and you can just do anything after it and then you can do this and then he makes all these explosions on the screen and then he has this and it's plus some block and you can just do it over and over again and, and then you win the game. It, that sounds good. And um, to be honest, it, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun to play such a weird ass character. So um, let's talk about him. Let's start off with the boring stuff. His regular attacks have a lot of hits in them. The full attack string takes like two thirds, I mean a third of like your entire combo time so I don't often find myself using the entire combo string because by the time I do that and go into a special move basically the end of a combo and uh yeah so unless I'm doing it like on block or anything I'm not really going to be doing the full sequence <clears throat> and then he's on the combo strings like he has an up combo string but you don't really use it that much or I don't see why you would he also has a down combo string which just does more damage if you feel like ending your combo immediately, pretty similar to everyone else's. His aerial attacks is um, not that good for anything except for, you know, if you've dash cancelled and gone for combos because it, it's not really that useful. You're not going to hit a grounded opponent with it, even if you tried. You have to have a very specific height. You have to be like, oh, gotcha, gotcha, mate. <laughs> That's not really going to happen. His aerial dive kick tilt attack thing is pretty good because he kind of spins around with his sword so it has a great hitbox that goes all around him so if the opponent somehow goes underneath you when you do it, it can hit underneath. And it also has a hitbox that goes a bit in front of him so that, as you can see that last slash actually catches the opponent. And um, yeah, it's just a really good hitbox. Not particularly quick but it's really good. Two hits, combo off of it, starts a combo. Pretty good stuff. Unfortunately it's red but yeah, pretty good dive kick. His grab is pretty good. It has really deceptive range. From the animation, like, it's a slide. You would expect it to reach, like, around here. But, like, the guy barely moves forwards. He just, it's kind of more like he kneels down and pops his toe out. And if, if the toe hits you, then you get hit by the grab. It's very, very deceptive. And I end up misspacing it a lot because I overestimate how much this slide would actually travel. But, you know, cool animation. It doesn't really give you much of a... Crazy hard knockdown, it's not like um, Zenitsu's or anything, so it's just a pretty average grab. But um, thanks to some of your special moves, you can actually use it to end combos, kind of similar to how Enmu does, so that's kind of good, but uh, other than that, nothing too special. And coming to his tilt attack on the ground, his armor attack, it's um very good and also very bad, for different reasons. Um, if you've played with Tengen, you probably know that it's pretty awkward to combo off of. See, I can combo off of it there, but I need to use my held forwards attack. So, um, if you're not aware, characters' regular attacks can go different distances if you're holding down the button while they do them. So, as you can see, I'm holding down the button and he does this, like, big step forward and it'll go almost all the way to Sabito. But if I'm just doing my regular attack, he won't, like, step forward and I'd have to do, like, three of them before I reach Sabito. So, you have to do the, like, held movement kind of attack in order to combo off of it if you kind of at a close range like around here I think it's probably the furthest way you can combo off of it and yeah it's only if you're really close you can just combo off of it with your regular attacks but um that's not really gonna happen ever so I don't really rely on it um a lot of the time you're gonna be hitting it around here and it doesn't cancel into special moves or anything so you're just not gonna get anything off of it unless you dash cancel and you might get an aerial combo or a grounded combo just depended on where you are if you are like max distance, you're probably going to get a grounded combo. And uh, yeah, so in that way it's kind of bad, but then also it's kind of good because this thing has range. If I try to get an angle where he does it sideways, you can see that this thing, it reaches really far. It has a big explosion and it also recovers very quickly on an opponent that blocks it. So if I get Sabi to block it, like around here. It recovers really quickly and Tengen does this kind of like spin around kind of steps backwards so a lot of the time people don't actually end up punishing it especially if you space it really well and I'm around here. The people can't punish it well enough because they start mashing buttons and by the time the two buttons have come out you've already recovered. So it's pretty safe. 
And um, that's basically the only good thing. <laughs> You want to make sure, I usually just end up mashing the dash cancel button afterwards because it doesn't come out on block and if I get the hit, I probably want to get a little bit of damage, some kind of little combo off of it, um, instead of just getting this and then walking around, because like, at that, <laughs> what's the point of even doing an armor attack if you're not going to get anything off of it? So I, I'd like to do, you know, something like this and then I get a decent chunk of damage and it doesn't cost that much. But uh, yeah, so it's an armor attack that isn't good in the general sense because you can't combo with it very easily but it does reach really far and is kind of safe so that's kind of cool okay now for his special moves we have his standing neutral special move why did that take so long to load is an interesting special move it um is pretty if i was to say it's like anything else i think would say it's kind of like regular nezuko's standing special where it just does a ton of attacks like how she does a ton of scratches and it can be dash like cancelled into anything at any point. I can cancel out of it with a jump, or cancel into another special move at any point. It's just a very very flexible special move. And if the whole thing does come out, it does actually put the opponent into a slump. So you have tons of time to go for a grab or an, an armor attack, maybe if you want. But once again, the armor attack isn't that good. You even have time to like go for a dive kick like this if you want to do combos that way. So it is pretty good combo filler, but do pay attention that it is quite slow, and the only point in your combo sequence that you combo off of it is after you've done this rapid spinning part. Any part after that, you can combo into it, but any time beforehand, you cannot. And um, that's about it. It's not advantageous on block, but because you can cancel it into anything, it's pretty cool, and <laughs> because it's so freaking ridiculous on the screen you can dash cancel it and depending on wh where you are you can dash cancel and oh i don't have any meter left <laughs> dash cancel into a grab or even just into a side step into a grab and just there's so much stuff on the screen the opponent doesn't know when you're going to cancel it because you can cancel at any point i could even cancel like the first hit into a side step and then go into a grab or just more buttons or whatever or i can go into the next special move that we're going to talk about which is tilt special tilt special can look similar to the standing special if you don't really know Tengen's buttons. It's just another huge flashy attack. But this one is more of like an instant win neutral kind of attack. It charges super far, like further than round start distance, like well over half screen distance. It's ridiculous how far he travels with this. And it's advantageous on block, it starts combos, it's a pretty crazy special move. So if your opponent happens to get hit by this, you can just go straight into buttons, do whatever kind of combo you want. And do a nice, juicy chunk of damage. And if they block it, just normally, you can also just go straight into buttons. So it's very advantageous on lock. So you can just keep looping this over and over again. And if the opponent tries to push back, push back your regular buttons, well, you can just charge right back in with the tilt special. So if I'm attacking, the opponent does a push block, well, then I can just do this, and I'm right back on top of them, and I'm plus. If the opponent does a pushback now, I can run back in on top of them, do it again, and their guard is going to break pretty damn quickly. And you can do some weird whatever combos you want to do. The thing is, though, that if the opponent does know how to fight Tengen, they'll know that you can actually push back this move on like the first and second hit of it connecting. So if you push back the run-in and some of the first hits, the last hit will actually whiff, and if Tengen whiffs the last hit, um, he actually, you know, can't special cancel into regular attacks, or- wait, what? Okay, maybe I'm misinformed, maybe this is just a completely crazy special move, but sometimes the opponent can push it back in a certain way where the last hit doesn't come out, and Tengen can't cancel it until the very last hit, so if they do manage to push him out, before he's able to cancel into his buttons, because obviously once he's cancelling into his buttons, he's going to be able to, you know, attack you again. But, um, you know, while this whole animation is coming out, he can't cancel it, so sometimes they can push him back and then punish him before the last hit comes out. That is pretty hard though, but just know that there is technically counterplay. But, um, other than that, this is, like, I would put it up there as probably, possibly the most ridiculous move in the game. It is just so so brain dead in how easy it is to use 
<laughs> you can just do anything and it'll work. If And even if the opponent does counterplay and like try and push it back, you can just alter the timing a little bit, like do it a slightly different time or cancel it into this and then this can be cancelled into this at any time. And even if they do, you know, manage to do it a few times, they're not going to do it consistently because it's not a super easy thing to counter. It's just such an amazing brain dead special move that I wouldn't even bother using your standing special in your attack strings, even though it can be cancelled into anything. Just the fact that you can go over and over and over again, it makes the opponent so freaking scared of you touching them at all. And, you know, fear is one of your greatest weapons in a fighting game because your opponent's scared of you. They're going to do dumb stuff and then they're going to die. So, uh, yeah. I don't even really bother going for the throw the throw mix-ups until the opponent is super, super, super countering my tilt special. But, uh, yeah, most of the game I spend my, my games like this. Just do a bunch of attacks. If I see they push me back, I just go into it again. And I keep it attacking until I see they push me back, and then I go into it again. Uh, it's, it's very fun. And very, very effective. In the air, he goes pretty similar distance. A little bit less, thank god. But, um... It's also pretty crazy. It's not advantageous on block because he doesn't go to the ground, but he can cancel it into his um, other button, and he can also sidestep cancel it at any point for a kind of sneaky grab reset, which is honestly even sneakier than the um, grounded version because he can cancel it at any point in the air, I believe. Oh no, still only at the very end. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty crazy special move. Now let's go to a special move, which is not as crazy, but kind of close. His guard special, or his DP. And let's stop the opponent guarding, because I don't want them to guard my DP, because that's embarrassing. So this DP is kind of crazy. It doesn't do much damage, but it has, on hit, like, zero recovery. As you can see, I can, like, walk around underneath the opponent after I've hit them with it. It has so little recovery that you have so many options. So, first option is you can actually just super easily combo it into a grab. So say you've gotten some kind of short combo and you want to, like maybe a dive peek or something, and I'm just doing a few hits, and the combo's about to end, I can just at any point go into a DP and into a throw and end with a decent chunk of guaranteed damage, even just with a sliver of combo timing left on the timer, because, you know, all you need is enough time to be able to go for the DP, because the grab doesn't count towards the combo timer, because it'll still hit the opponent and get a nice extra little chunk of damage. <laughs> then the next option you have isn't really an option, but you can technically go for an armor attack if you ever wanted to do that for some reason. But the best option for combos is you can just dash cancel for free and do aerial follow-ups. So it's kind of like Rui's DP in that sense, that it's completely ridiculous and awesome for combos. And um, some of your best combos, like most of the combo routes that I do, I go into DP just as soon as I can because it's just one of his best tools. And you can go for cool combos, resetty things like this, and uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And that's like really all there is to say about it. It's super strong, but there's not really too much nuance to it. If the opponent blocks it, you're this. <laughs> it's like two years before you can block again, so make sure you're using it in a combo. And also pay attention to the if the opponent has a breakaway available, because if they break away and you like go for this and it doesn't actually hit the opponent because they've broken away, they'll actually be able to punish you. Even their breakaway timing has enough time for them to break away and dash in on you if this whiffs on the opponent. So make sure that when you're using it, you're very sure that it's going to hit, because even though it is a very, very, very powerful tool like and to be useful in combos, if it doesn't work, it's really, really bad. Okay, and uh, those are basically all of his special moves. Just something to note, he doesn't have demon skills, but when using support gauge with Tengen, I think this is where he actually becomes a super strong character, and it's not something I've really experimented with too much, because when I was playing with him, I just wanted to play as him. But thanks to this special move and his other special move that has a huge flashiness, and it mainly the tilt special, because it flings him towards the opponent, does all these attacks, so like even if I cancel into... Makomo, I've got a name for a second there. He's still gonna do all these billion attacks. Makomo's just standing here while he does them all. 
And that's like no way the opponent can avoid this grab. If if Tengen is, is attacking you or wants to get in, he's gonna get in. Because this has pretty decent tracking as well. The opponent has to like jump sidestep or do something to get out of the way. So decent tracking, and I can just cancel into Nakamo and grab. Or just go in for any kind of pressure, but I can get basically a guaranteed grab. Which is why <coughs> I would recommend using characters with decently ranged grabs, like Hinokami Tanjiro or um, Nezuko. Because the fact that you can just do this in neutral, and you're instantly on top of the opponent, and you practically get a guaranteed grab at any point, is crazy. Very, very crazy. Now, let's go uh, special gauge, refill. When he's in boost mode, and the opponent isn't blocking. Obviously, his special moves do more damage, and he also gets this extra combo ender, which I don't find myself using too much. Like, if I am completely out of Vita, I suppose I could use that, but um, if I've gone into boost mode, I just got all my Vita back, so I'm probably just gonna do my Tengen combos with a billion special moves, since they could do all do extra damage when I'm in this mode. And uh, it just hurts a lot more that way. And obviously, he's a pretty simple character to use when he's in surge mode, just due to how easily his special moves can link into one another, so if I... Stuff like that is very, very easy for Tengen to do. I wonder if it would maybe be better to... I haven't really messed around in search mode that much because it's pretty obvious how powerful he is going to be in search mode. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's It seems pretty powerful. And then his ultimate activation is, you know, standard, but very, very easy to combo into, which is good. It's not one that you can easily whiff accidentally, like some characters that don't reach very far, or like have the best hitboxes, maybe they like go under the opponent or whatever. Dengen has this massive flailing swords around him, so it's pretty hard to whiff, even if the opponent is airborne. Oh, oops, how do I get the opponent airborne? And you, you just do something into a special move, you're gonna like easily combo into your ultimate, which is a, a big strength for a character to have, to be able to easily combo into an ultimate and be pretty much guaranteed that it's gonna hit and not drop and then you get majorly punished for it is pretty cool. So now that we've talked about all of his attacks and stuff stuff, let's turn off that and just quickly talk about his combos. Because he's such a ridiculous like stupid character that like on block is always just doing this, like you get a few random hits like if the opponent decides to like randomly stop blocking in the middle of some of your attack strings or whatever. Like, you're gonna get some random hits maybe off of your attacks or whatever, so it's pretty important that you learn to like hit confirm and you're like, oh, the opponent let go of block so that you can actually go into your combos. So if you start with a few attacks, like in, if you realize, oh, they're gonna hit by your attacks, I like to just go into a DP, dash cancel, and go for this kind of situation, and I can actually dash cancel and go for this pretty sneaky grab reset, which I find works a lot. Like, people do not see that coming, they get hit by it like a solid 90% of the time, especially the first few times that I use it against them. So that's pretty powerful, and then, you know, obviously if they start reacting to the grab portion of it, you can start doing other stuff, like just mashing buttons, if they try to outmash you. Okay, you have to delay it a little bit or else you'll accidentally combo them. But um, yeah, you can go for that or go for an armor attack to beat them trying to mash out your grab. That is a super powerful reset that I find works. If the opponent gets hit by this, then you can just, you know, go into buttons, into this again. And honestly, his combos are so easy and freeform that you can literally do anything and you're basically gonna get 3,500 damage by default. <coughs> Sorry. He's not really a character that does huge damage off of certain hits, like Nezuko, or especially Advanced Nezuko, where she can really cash out. He's not really a character that does that too well, but um, he's kind of the kind of character like Sabuto that is always gonna be getting his guaranteed like 3,000 damage, even off of super simple stuff like this. See if I just do a few hits into this, and then if I just want to keep it super simple, not even cost any meter, I get 3,000 damage just to doing something super simple like that. Cost me basically nothing, and I get you know a decent hard knockdown. Super super nice and simple. Um, just like any character though, you want to go into your special moves basically like as soon as you can in the combo so that scaling doesn't apply as much. 
So if you do want to do some stuff like this, whoopsie, not that special move, that doesn't combo until the end of his combo strings, but uh, do do do. You can do stuff like that. But as you can see, even though I added that extra special move, he's still doing around the same amount of damage. So when you do combos, it's kind of just a matter of, okay, what have I hit them with and what do I want to go into? And if they are maybe going to break the combo, I would recommend just keeping the combo grounded and doing stuff like this instead of trying to use your DP, because then there's the chance that they will be able to use their sidekick to break out of the combo and punish your DP, which really, really sucks. But yeah, combo-wise, like, um, there isn't specific combo examples that I can really give you. Like, you can just kind of do whatever you want. You didn't even need need to spend that meter there. Just, if you spend two bars on anything, whether I just do a bunch of hits into this special move, a bunch of hits into this, and then go for a grab, that'll do a bit above 3,000. If I do a few hits straight into the grab... That'll do a bit above 3,000, and I can go for a bit of a reset there. Yeah, they'll all do around about the same damage, and the only kind of real cool reset I can, or combo I can show you is doing this kind of situation. So two special moves into each other in the air, and then dash cancelling out, and going for this kind of cool grab reset. Something to note, though, is if you do your tilt special in the air quite low to the ground, he will actually do the standing special grounded after that, which is kind of cool because then that lets you get um, combo from the air into the ground, which is something that can be pretty useful, especially if you do like really low to the ground that lets you go for a DP off of the ground. Usually the way to get really low is just to an instant jump sidestep. So you can actually combo that into a DP and then you get your combos going like this way. And then combo into an ultimate or whatever you want there. And as you can see, stuff like that is what gets him a little bit above the 3,000 mark. And that's what brings him to the 4,000s and 4,500, and is going to be his real optimal damage. And as I said before, comboing into an ultimate is pretty easy with this character. <laughs> just do a few hits, and as long as you've done any of your special moves, you can kind of super easily just go into your ultimate and cash out on some pretty juicy damage. If you've gotten a combo off of this, I like to just go for a little bit of a reset, or if I've dash cancelled, I will just um, do a few hits into an aerial special move, just because really there's not much else that I'm going to do up here. It's a nice big chunk of damage, so I will definitely take it. And if I get a red combo off of something like this, you can either just you know, do it into a special move, or you can kind of go for a reset if you'd like, like a few hits into this, and then go for a grab, sneak them off guard, but you're not really going to get too much. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's about all there is to talk about with Tengen. He's an absolutely stupid character, and I could have summed up this entire video and made a 30 second video just saying, use your tilt special and you'll be fine. Use it as your combos and you'll get hit later. <laughs> like, it, it's honestly true. If the opponent's blocking, use your tilt special. If the opponent's getting hit, you can still use your tilt special and you'll get a decent chunk of damage. You can use it in your combos. You can use it on block. And yeah, whatever you're doing, you're <laughs> it's going to work out really well. It's the most ridiculous special move in the game, probably. But that's Tengen. He's flashy. He's cool. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.